So this is the race today, the Katoom Hair Scramble in uh, Campbell River. It was uh, raining earlier this morning, but uh, now it's cleared up a bit and uh, should be a good day. Well, I spent a ridiculous amount of time last night fixing this GoPro and adding an exterior mic to it. So I'm really hoping that you can hear me loud and clear right now. I finally did get it done and it seemed to work by the end of the evening. I'm up in Campbell River at the Campbell River motocross track. And it's a pretty drizzly day. I was in the lineup of this sign up that you can see in front here for an hour and 15 minutes. It was just brutal standing there in the rain. It was such a slow process getting everyone signed up. <clears throat> we were supposed to race at 11 and it's 10 to 11 now and people are still signing up so that's not going to happen. Latest I heard was 12. So we'll see if that even happens. Heck of a good turnout. Uh, as it's a, a PN event, Pacific Northwest Motorcycle Association, so a lot of guys are from the mainland. So here's my bike, and you can see the difference. It's a trials bike, and uh, the one behind is an enduro bike, which is what everyone else has. I'm the only one here on a trials bike. It's the only bike I've got, so it's the one I'm riding, which is quite fine by me. Most events, an enduro bike is really the one to have, uh, but there are a couple of events during the year that are really tight and technical, and the trials bike really cleans up in those events. Uh, it's really built for climbing and getting over obstacles, going through the tough gnarly stuff. Here's Tim, just went out for a bit of a warm up. We were both getting pretty cold. Noon. Alright. Well. It's all warmed up, we'll know where to go now. Yeah, now we got time to cool off and then warm up again. <laughs> so here we've got the uh, sign up. And uh, a great job of, that's been done by the ladies. They've been here since I think 7 this morning and it's now 11 and they're still signing up people. I just heard that there are over 150 people signed up already which is uh, could be the biggest race I've ever been in. So these guys are the B class which is the, uh, I guess technically the slower half of the field today. And they're just about to go. And there are the senior experts, which are experts over 40, or over, maybe they're over 50. Over 40. I see Maladin in there near the back. Unusual. They all had no problem with the hill. Looks like they're just about to get ready for the next class to go.
believe we've got the vet amateurs coming up next. Looks like one guy's overheating already. Oh, pile up right at the beginning. Still no one having trouble with the hill. It's a little bit like a mini Erzberg where they start off at the bottom of a deep, deep open face mine and work their way up the banks to get to the top. But there's uh, the next class. Vet amateurs, I'm guessing. first waves are going into the woods over there and that's the start of the the wood section which is the majority of this race they'll be in there about 20 minutes and then come back out onto the track and then come down here and through the uh, tents and the white tent at the back is the one with the, uh, the sensor for for tracking you This must be the Junior Open. Keep going, keep going. All right. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> nice. Well, he made it. bit of adjustment and he's off again ready oh it's actually two classes okay this is the women's B go girls go keep it wicked on keep it wicked on there you go nice they all had no trouble with that hill and then finally we've got the junior under 15s Hmm, there we go. All right, guys. Pin it, pin it, pin it. Go, go, go. Don't slow, don't go slow. That's it, keep it pinned, keep it pinned. All right, you made it. Well done. Right on. And that's everyone in the B class. So at the end of the motocross section, you have to go underneath this bridge before you go into the woods. It's kind of fun going under there. And into the woods they go. Right on. Okay, this guy's flying pretty good. Couple more coming. All right. <laughs> Way 
way slower than some of the earlier guys, but hey, fun is fun. Doesn't matter what speed you're going. Oh, it looks like we got some primo spectating spots here. This is uh, almost at the end of the course. I've just come here to catch the bee riders as they come through for the first time. Somebody's been doing some major building here. Okay, here are the first guys in the bee. Yeah. Electing to take the ramp. Well, one, two, and three are just glued together. And a pretty good gap to four. There we go. Fourth place and fifth. Making it look easy. Sixth. No drama. Okay, a little more aggression there. sound of a four stroke. <laughs> Little extra blip for flare. Alright. No drama there. There's Maladin. Followed by a string of buddies. <laughs> nice. Spectator spot here. Some of these guys are definitely motocross oriented. They just fly over some of these jumps. These are just the B riders. I won't get to film the A riders because I'll be in the amongst them, but, uh, at least not from this vantage point. But I can assure you some of them will be uh, clearing some of these double jumps. Just ripping around here. Here's the first couple of guys in the B class on their third loop now, I guess. Pretty close. 100 yards between them. After an hour and a half of racing. An hour of racing. Let's see how he takes this double. Yeah, flies it pretty good. Let's 
in his third place in the bees. Woo! Nice jump over there. And then he has to do a shot upright. Bend, come around under the bridge here. Double that one nicely. And fourth and fifth and sixth. Hotly contested, I would say. They're having fun with each other. That's a lot of fun when you're very equally matched. You uh, go back and forth several times. Some guys are better in the woods, some guys are better on the track. All right, the masters have already gone. Experts are next. City. Woo. There's the experts. A horrific start. Got caught up in the front corner. And then trouble going over the over the hill. Huh. I think I'm in last place. expecting to pass anyone on the track. At least I kept up to the pack. been more aggressive there, like the guy in front of me. That's okay. I'm gonna pace myself anyway. This is the 30 and over vet class, or expert class. And 30 year olds still don't really pace themselves much. So a lot of these guys at the back anyway are going out way too strong for a three hour race. A 
That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Definitely fun trails, but not the kind that give me any kind of advantage with a trials bike. I've got a lot less suspension. The engine isn't the problem. I've got enough power. I'm rarely using more than a quarter of a throttle at any one time. It's the... Uh, Alright, got a couple of guys there, that was a, a neat little ramp and ro rock. And definitely a time saver for those who can do it. One guy looked like he didn't make it very good. Okay, this guy's going a good pace for me. If I can stick with him, I'll be doing all right. There's a guy right behind me, so if I can't slack off, or he, he'll totally take advantage. I need to stick with this guy. It gets tougher being out on your own, especially as I've never ridden this track before. I've no idea what's coming up around any corner, so to have him half a second ahead of me just gives me that little bit of time to see what he's doing, what he's having to negotiate. Definitely a lot of fun though. even if I am third from last place. These guys really move on this stuff. I can't even imagine trying to keep up with anyone faster than the guy in front of me. And there are probably a dozen guys in front of him. Oop. A little bobble by him. But he saved it. I think these must be from the class behind. on the suspension. Let another guy by. So, if those guys were the ones I took uh, overtook before, back in last place again, which is entirely possible.
contour is a nice flowy trail. Just flicks from left to right. Wouldn't want to go any faster than this. Oh, I'm quite happy here. Woo! Thank you. Checking I didn't have my choke on there because it was just not revving up very good on that road section. But the choke's just fine. So. Bike's running good. Brakes are holding up. Suspension's doing the best it can. So far the body feels okay. Okay. Something's up with my engine now. It's not revving up like it should. Ah, oh, these whoops are just too too tough on the bike. Ah, oh, the engine sounds rough. disappeared into that hole. Sounds exactly like the choke is stuck on. It's running way too rich. Come on, you can do it. Almost got him back there.
Dead expert, 15th, so I'll be 16th. And I am 16th. Listen to that engine. What the heck is going on? doesn't sound good. Ah, great. Now I've lost part of my muffler. Oh, dang it. I can see it there. It's going to get run over. Oh, shit. Come back for it later. Oh, well, maybe that was what was happening. Maybe the muffler was all gimped. That would have the same effect. Great. It's going to be noisy now. Oh, yeah. Sounds like a big boy's bike. Uh, just by, on the off chance that I might want to pass someone. At least they'll hear me now. Well, it seemed to rev up pretty good there. I'm guessing that was the problem. Nicely done, by both of us. That was a passing, passing spot, but luckily for him, I just don't got it in me. Oh yeah, the engine's feeling a lot better. That's all I can do to keep up.
Ow! Oh. Some of these bumps send a shock up through my foot. That displeases me. This guy's giving me a good run for my money. He's pulling me along a bit because if I was on my own, I don't think I'd be pushing quite this hard. But it's always a kind of an irresistible temptation to try and keep up with a guy oh! in front. You okay? All right. Thank you. Oh, no problem. Thank you. Woo. <laughs> yeah, baby.
Thank you. Oh, I bet he's surprised to see a trials bike go by him. Quite often your speed is limited by the amount of traction you can get. I'm getting so much traction. I'm just totally limited by my cardio. I just can't give it any more without going into the red zone. And I've still got probably an hour and a quarter to race. Not planned. Okay. Now I'm 17th. Gone down a spot. That is a little surprising. destined to duke it out here. I'm dead! Is that it? Okay. Because I'm not going around again. Oh, is that right? Okay. Thanks a lot, girls. Appreciate it. Yeah! I think I came last! 16th out of 17 <laughs> something like that <laughs> thanks a lot
<laughs> All right, on.